Hey everybody, it's Lady B, and as always, I have something to say. I just wanted to stop and share my thoughts on some current events before my husband get home. He's been traveling. I made some red beans and rice. I think they taste pretty good. I think I made a Louisiana proud. You know, it's being called or heralded the slap that was heard around the world. Now, I want you to stay with me because I don't want to get into whether it was right or wrong. I shared something in Bible study Wednesday that continues to ring in my heart. Right or wrong, Will Smith made a decision. And in that decision, he came against, he attacked, he made a declaration to what he perceived to be as the enemy of his wife, somebody that was coming against his wife. I don't care whether the will was right or whether the will was wrong. That doesn't make me never mind. What I want to say is this. First John chapter four, verse eight says that Satan has sinned from the beginning. And because of that, Jesus was manifest into the world to destroy the works of Satan. And if in fact, the works of Satan have been destroyed. What if we develop that same attitude where we told the enemy, get my family out your mouth. Get my health and my finances out your mouth. Get my ministry out your mouth in the name of Jesus. What if we... I'm really kind of stirred up because we hear the word of God and we're being taught about the victory that we have in Christ Jesus. And we are being taught about the finished work of Jesus and how everything is subject to him and we are in him. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. It says in first John chapter five, even our faith that we have overcome the world, but yet the world keeps subduing us. The world keeps us sad and depressed and, and, and frustrated. And, and instead of the word of God bringing us peace and rest and comfort and joy and direction, it makes us mad and it makes us frustrated. Something is wrong. Something's wrong, people of God. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. And my prayer and and my desire is that we would, if the world can stand for what they believe and what they want, what about those of us who have been redeemed? What about those of us whose Lord said it is finished? I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired. I'm, I'm sick and tired of the things that come against me. I'm sick and tired when I look at my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. I am sick and tired. And I know people a lot of times think that I'm mad with them. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at what I see you letting the enemy do to you. I'm mad at the enemy. How he keeps attacking you. He keeps your mind scrambled. He keeps your heart broken. He keeps you defiled. Defeated and in misery when we know that in Jesus Christ, none of that exists. So what if we stood up and was counted? What if we were bold enough to walk across that stage and tell the enemy, this is it? What if we put on our armor, which is the Lord Jesus Christ? And we took the word of God and said, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, because you know, Philippians tells us everything must be subject to the name of Jesus. So in the name of, and I listen, for some of us, we're not going to be able to just say in the name of Jesus and then poof, everything changes because some of this stuff, we've let it go for so long that the roots are deep. But if we persevere and we keep on 
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, loose my children, loose my marriage, loose my health, loose my finances, loose my ministry, loose souls that are dying. In the name of Jesus, I believe. It's not just a song I sing. I believe that there's power in the name of Jesus. And God has been dealing with me and I want to share with you. What if we stood up and were counted in the name of Jesus? Give me my community. In the name of Jesus, my church will not be split. In the name of Jesus, my church will walk in love. We will have peace. We will not be divided. We will not keep bickering over things that have no eternal value. I will stand up and be counted and say, in the name of Jesus. So, I want to challenge us. What if we stood up and said, keep my out your mouth. Because I come in the name of the Lord. We would be so, life would be so much better. It would be so much better. So I'm praying for you and I'm praying for me that we, the people of God, would stand up, straighten up our backs, hold our heads up, live holy, continue to walk righteously, continue to declare the truth of the word of God and live like we belong to the conqueror of this world. And his name is Jesus. So just like they say that that slap has been heard around the world. What if the enemy heard our voices around the world declaring that Jesus is still Lord? I see what you're trying to do. And I'm going to be honest with you. I gave you some ground, but I'm taking it back in the name of Jesus. What if we did that? What if we joined together and said, today, this is going to be the prayer and the declaration and the war cry that is heard around the world. I'm claiming it. I'm laying victory. I'm laying claim to my victory in the name of Jesus. I'm not talking about the worldly stuff. I'm talking about the things that God has called us to do that will bring him glory. And we're not doing it because the enemy keeps scaring us and he keeps tempting us and threatening and, and harassing us. But in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. So join with me. Lift up your voice with my voice as we lift up our voices with other voices and say, we declare this day, Jesus is Lord. And this is the declaration that shall be heard around the world, that Jesus is still Lord. He's still in control and everything must bow to Jesus Christ. Would you do that with me? Love you. I pray that you're praying for me. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus.